Red Feather 24 here. So I have the wiring on the custom MOSFET on the P90 setup done. I'm gonna show you the difference between the normal wiring, which is this setup, which just goes from the battery to the trigger contacts, and then from the trigger contacts to the motor, and from the motor back to the battery. And I'm gonna compare that one with the active braking MOSFET, which has an additional wire, where it goes from the um, battery to the motor, to the MOSFET to the battery, and then the circuit that actually controls the MOSFET goes from the battery to the trigger contacts and from the trigger contacts to the MOSFET and back to the uh, battery. So there's a separate uh, circuit which will um, have a few advantages over the original one. Um, the active braking will also break the engine, which is not done on the original setup. I'll show you how that looks like. As you can see, there's the pinion wheel. I'm gonna pull the uh, the trigger contacts together, and I'm gonna you're gonna see it spool up. Now, when I let go, it has to run. It slowly comes to a stop. And let go. And release. So as you can see, it takes about maybe a second to actually stop the pinion wheel from moving completely. I am using an 8.4 volt battery on this setup, by the way. Um, so what happens here is the current has to go over the trigger contacts, which is a few amps. Um, that you pull over the trigger contacts so up in there so that has quite some resistance in there uh, which will also limit the power which is put to the motor to the uh, yeah the motor so um, the MOSFET kind of um, deals with this problem let me just quickly get uh, the MOSFET on this motor here, like so. So now we have the uh, well, wiring has been it's twisted a bit, no big deal. So what we have now is the trigger contacts on the motor, the trigger contact, the additional wire here, the MOSFET chip actually. I made this one myself with um, two MOSFETs, a P-channel and an N-channel MOSFET, and two resistors. And then we have the battery connection. I'm going to use the same battery to show you what difference this makes. And in case you were wondering, I have an, uh, a spare trigger set. And actually, I had a spare gearbox because I cracked the case on the original gearbox of the P90. And because it's a Ying Gong P90, uh, it's actually cheaper to get a uh, full gearbox replacement, like a drop-in replacement is cheaper than getting like a Tokyo Marui gearbox shell or a Sistema gearbox shell so I just got the uh, complete replacement because I had upgrades for the whole thing uh, it would be cheaper to get a whole gearbox so that also means that I got a, a, a motor bracket, a motor, internals, trigger system right so now with the MOSFET on there See how it jumps and it automatics. It's like instantly breaks itself down. Which is pretty sweet. If you give it a long burst, it's no big deal. It doesn't even warm up. The wires are good, motor is good. It's all good. Battery source, uh, no, that's good. So that's pretty sweet. Comment, rate, and subscribe, and please return for more interesting videos about Airsoft.